Hey everyone, in this video we'll dive into the world of frequency recognition to hone your ability to recognize different frequency areas by ear. We'll be exploring 7 essential frequency areas, 125 hertz, 250 hertz, 500 hertz, 1 kilohertz or 1000 hertz, 2 kilohertz, 4 kilohertz, and 8 kilohertz. So each one of these frequencies is precisely an octave away from the next. Now what's an octave, you might ask? It's simply a doubling of frequency. So understanding this fundamental concept is your first step to mastering frequency recognition. By the end of this quiz, you'll have some experience identifying these frequency areas by associating each one with a familiar sound or feeling. I've prepared 10 multiple choice questions for you. Watch, listen, choose your answer, and don't forget to share your score in the comments below. Before we begin, a quick shout out to our sponsor, DistroKid, the music distribution service that empowers independent artists to get their music out to the world. In my production work, collaboration is an essential aspect of great music, and it's important that everyone is credited for their contribution to the music itself. But how do you ensure everyone gets the recognition they deserve? I use DistroKid. My latest EP project, Burnout by Lexine, is a prime example. In this project, we had a whole team on board. Band members, talented songwriters, graphic designers, different studios and engineers who contributed to the process, and even a videographer who captured everything that went down during recording. With DistroKid, giving credit is a breeze. I simply entered their names and their specific contributions to the project. DistroKid did the rest, sending this information to streaming services, ensuring that each contributor received the acknowledgement they deserved. So whether you're a solo artist or part of a team, Distro Kid has got your back when it comes to crediting your collaborators. While the application and the use of this metadata on streaming services may be limited at the moment, it's a growing trend that's shaping the future of music marketing. DistroKid's service will monitor each streaming partner and continuously update them with the maximum amount of metadata that they can handle at any time. If you're ready to give credit where it's due, sign up today using the link in the description and enjoy 7% off your first year subscription with DistroKid. All right, are you ready to test your ears? Let's get started. Headphones or monitors are recommended. Question one. One kilohertz. This one always reminds me of when I was a kid and the TV would go offline. It would broadcast these colored bars and it would play a one kilohertz tone that sounds like a flat line. It's a bit sharp and tinnitusy, but it's not as piercing as some of the other frequencies on this list. Okay, question two. Okay, 250 hertz. We get a warm ooh sound, a rich, resonant glow. Question three. Two kilohertz. So this one is way too high to sing. It's up in the whistle range, and it may also remind you of a smoke detector. Question number four. Five hundred hertz. This one's kind of reedy or honky. It's got a warm sound that sits in the mid range. Question five. Hundred and twenty-five hertz. Yeah, this one is deep. It's like the energy you feel when walking by an electrical box. Question six. Yeah, one kilohertz. You remember this one? The flat line or the TV test tone? Question number seven. 
8 kilohertz. Super annoying and shrill. It sounds like small machinery mechanical noise. It's also very sibilant. Question 8. four kilohertz. This one kind of sounds like feedback. It's piercing and bright. And this frequency range is also the most sensitive part of your ear, which is why it's used in the sound of a fire alarm or a smoke detector. Question nine. Five hundred hertz again. Very mid-range heavy. Has an ah sound to it, like opening wide at the dentist. Ah. Question ten. Two hundred and fifty hertz. So it's deeper than the last one. It's more of a resonance or a glow than a reedy note. So how did you do? I'd love to hear your scores. Don't forget to share them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this technical ear training quiz, be sure to check out the next video in this series. We'll be learning how to hear EQ boosts and cuts on pink noise, the next step towards sharpening your audio listening skills. And for even more practice, consider trying out the Quiz Tones app. It's a fantastic tool to continually hone your frequency recognition abilities. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support truly makes a difference and allows me to create more content like this. Thank you so much for joining me in this quiz today. I appreciate that you're taking the time and dedication to improve your audio listening skills. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, oh, oh.